All right, guys, so this is a planch lean hold. So before you get to the actual position, just make sure you depress your shoulders and then you're gonna start pushing the floor away from you. So you're gonna get into your planch position. Your fingers will be slightly out. Make sure you have your hips tucked under all the time and depress your shoulders and push the floor away from you. And you guys will be holding this for 30 seconds. We're gonna start now. So make sure your midsection is super tight and your hips are tucked under all the time. If you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, you can move your hands away from the wall and lean forward towards the wall. And we're staying there for another five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Well done, Betsy. Hi guys, we're going to take you through some Bulgarian split squats. Now at home, you just need a surface that you can elevate your back leg on, such as a chair or a lounge. When Tayu sets herself up, bring one foot forward. Your toe can be curled under or it can be flat on this back leg. It's up to you. As we lower down, it's really important we keep the heel flat on the front foot. The knee will travel over the toe. We do a little quarter rep at the bottom and stand back up. Okay, we're going to go for 10 reps here and then 10 pulses at the bottom. All right, getting ready to go. Lowering down for one, quarter pulse at the bottom and stand back up. Good, two and up. Three, you can have a little forward lean in the chest if you need to. Four, good. Five, again, back foot can be flat if you prefer. Six. That's it. Seven. Well done. Eight, keeping your front foot as flat as you can. Two more. Nine, quarter pulse at the bottom. Now down for 10, 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five. It's gonna burn. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Up tall to finish. Lovely, change side, second side. Again, elevate your back foot, toe flat or tucked under. And lowering down for one, quarter pulse and up. Two, good. And up, well done. Three, go as low as you can. Four, that's it. Five, just remember shoulders down and back for posture. Six. Good, seven, if you're worried about balance, a little bit of tension through the hands. Last few, eight, quarter pulse at the bottom. Two more, nine. Good, down for 10, 10 pulses. One, two, three, stay low, that's four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Stand up and shake your legs out. Well done. Hi guys. I'm going to take you through some hamstring slides. Now with this exercise, if you're at home and you don't have a frisbee that slides on your floor, you can use some socks, a hand towel, or a piece of paper. So laying on your back here, we're gonna start by lifting into a bridge. So squeeze your glutes, lift your hips up so you have that straight line between your shoulders and your knees. Then nice and slowly over three seconds, two, then one, we're going to lower down, straighten the legs, make sure we're not too arched, and then pull back up, keep those hips nice and high. Now, if you can't keep the hips up, we're gonna lower down over three, two, straighten the legs at one, drop the hips, and then slide back up to the start. So that is an easier variation. All right, we have 10 reps, three second descent on each rep. Lifting those hips to start, squeeze the glutes, down for one, over three, Two, one, make sure the knees are fully straight. Slide back up. Two, three, two, one, and up. Good, hips high. Three, two, one, and up. Four, three, two, one, and up. Five, three, remember at the bottom, you can drop the hips if you need to. One, and up, halfway. Three, two, one, 
Good, lifting up. Seven, three, two, one. This is eight, three, two, one. Good, make sure glutes on. Nine, three, two, one. Last one, guys, all the way down. And 10, three, two, and one. Finish at the top and rest. Nice job. We are going through some Cossack squats, everybody. So get yourself set up in front of a sofa or chair if you need that for assistance. We're going to come down to one side, bending our knee, tracking the knee over the second and third toe. And then we're going to come up and go down to the other side. Make sure you're keeping your chest up nice and tall and you're turning your straight leg, knee and toe up to the ceiling as you go down, okay? Okay guys, we're going into our first set. 10 reps each side, tracking that knee over that toe as you come down. Use the bench or sofa for assistance if you need to. And really just concentrate on working, as, working down as low as you can, okay? Working on that range of motion, working on that mobility on the insides of the legs, and try not to let your foot come up off the floor here. Alrighty. We're going to keep going with those reps, 10 reps each side. Keeping your chest up the whole time, guys. If you want to make this exercise more challenging, you can stay on the same leg for the full 10 reps, or you can just keep alternating like Thais for the full 20 reps. Good job, stay with it. Nice and strong through the insides of the legs as you're pushing up, squeeze those glutes. Make sure that the glutes are working really hard to pull your knee out to the side and track the knee right over the second and third toe here. How many are we on, Tace? So this is going to be seven. And seven, good job. We've got three more each side, everyone. Working hard to get as low as you can. We're going for our eighth rep on one side. And our eighth rep on the other side. We've got two more each side, everyone. If you start off without the bench, you can continue to use the bench as you get towards the end of those reps, if that's going to make it easier for you. And we've got one more each side. Come on, stay with it. All the way down and up and all the way down and up. Ah, nice work, everyone. Next up, guys, we got some seated leg lifts. We're gonna demonstrate with single and double leg. So if I get thighs, just to place your hands either side of that right leg. Now, what you'll notice is that we've placed a block here. Obviously, you can use anything just to create a little bit of elevation. If that's not available to you, obviously remove it. And what we're thinking of here is that she's trying to actually lean forward, just flex her spine there and lean forward. But what I don't want to see is this guy's big bellowing of this, uh, the back. So we don't want to see this. We actually want to keep our back relatively flat here. So I always think of belly button towards my knee. So really trying to lengthen that lower back. Now what she's going to do is point those beautiful toes. She's going to lift up and just a little brush onto the block and then come back down. So she's barely touching it. Let's go for another rep. Good. Okay. So if we're doing double legs, guys, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. We just pop our hands on the outside. Now, same thing again, guys. What I would say is, so you can start, we we'll just bring these in a little bit narrower. You want to make this a bit more challenging? We just go out into more of a straddle position where we would go a little bit wider. Okay, so we'll demonstrate. She's going to basically push the floor away as she tries to bring her belly button down towards her knees. And what you'll notice here is that, yes, she's lifting her leg, but she's actually pulling the leg back into her hip as she lifts those legs. All right, let's give her a bit of a break before we go through this. We're gonna go for 60 seconds on this one, guys. So if you can, we're gonna go double for 60. Um, but those of you at home, if 60 is a little bit challenging, go 31 side, alternate to the opposite side. Either way, get yourself set up. We'll go in three, two, one, and let's go. So on every rep, she is constantly trying to walk her hands a little bit further if she can. I want you to just about make that block. So if you're miles away from that block, you can go a little bit further. Nice, keep it going. If you've got a friend at home, guys, they can be a little bit stricter here. Don't let her sit back, beautiful. 
Get that back nice and flat. As much as we can, we're leaning forward. Come on, let's get a little bit more there. Come on, a little bit more. Let's try and walk forward if we can. Good, I just want you to push that block. We're already over halfway, so switch legs if you're doing single legs. Really good. Control the breathing. We don't want to hold our breath, guys. See if there's a little bit more range in there. Keep pulling that leg back into your hips. Really nice. Come on, keep it going. We're working in the last 10 seconds. I can see she's shaking. She's working hard. She can even smile in this position. Good. Last three, two. Come on, get one more in there and relax. Nice work. Good job. Hey guys, I'm going to take you through some side V snaps. Now these are for your obliques. When you set yourself up, do make sure that you are on the side as much as possible. The hips can be rolled back a little bit, but we want to make sure we're not laying on our back. Bottom arm, use that on the floor for some support. And then just as a demo rep, we're going to take the top arm, we're going to squeeze through the obliques, snap to the toes and back down. So that would be two reps, pause there. We're going to go through 12 reps and we're going to do both sides. All right, getting ready to go. And lifting up for one, squeeze at the top. Good, two, three, they can be nice and strong. Four, well done. Five, so feet stay together. Six, seven, we should be getting the obliques. Eight, nine, nearly there. 10, two more. 11 and 12. Well done. Okay, roll onto your other side. Getting ready to go. Bottom hand on the floor and snapping up for one, two, squeeze at the top, three, four, good, five, easy done, six, seven, eight, nine, we're going for 12, 10, good, 11, last rep, 12, and rest. All right, guys, so we are gonna get into our hollow and arch body series. So first, you're gonna start on your hollow position. You're gonna do upper body lifts. So nice and tight, keep tension on your legs, upper body lifts. And then you're gonna get straight into lower body lifts, using your legs, heels on and off the floor. And then we're gonna go upper body and lower body at the same time. And then you're gonna go for rocks. After that, you can just roll over into arch position. Same thing, so first upper body lifts, and then lower body lifts, and then both of them, and then you're gonna do your arch. Sorry, your rocks. All right, so we are gonna do 10 seconds doing reps, and then on your hold, you have to stay 10 seconds holding that position, okay? So, getting ready, we're gonna start in three, two, one, upper body lifts, let's go. So keep tension your legs, try to point those toes, and we've got another three, two, one, hold there for 10 seconds, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now lower body lifts. And we're gonna go 10 seconds. That's it. Keep tension through your legs. You can always go a little bit higher or a little bit lower if you want that more challenging. And stay there, stay there. 10 seconds and eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now, both of them. And 10 seconds. If you want to keep this really challenging, don't touch your heels on the floor. And three, two, one. And stay there for 10 seconds. And here, when you hold, just make sure you have no gap between your lower back and the floor. You can also bend your knees if you do prefer. And stay there for another two, one. Awesome, now rocks. So keep a lot of tension through your body. 
and we've got another three, two, one, and hold that again for another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. If you wanna bend those knees again, five, four, three, two, one. Now roll over straight into arch position and upper body lifts starting in three, two, one, go. 10 seconds. You still wanna be nice and long, so engage those glutes and your upper, body, um, upper back muscles. That's it. And we've got three, two, one, 10 seconds hold. You still wanna be nice and long and you can also get into your W shape. So keeping your shoulder blades really together and two, one, very nice. Now, lower body lifts and get ready, go. 10 seconds, very nice. So you can still keep your W shape here or if you wanna have arms by your ears and three, two, one and you can hold, squeeze those legs, engage your glutes and stay there for another three, two, one. Now upper and lower body, that's the way. Beautiful catch. That's it, try to get the chest really up, squeezing your glutes, upper back muscles, and three, two, one, and hold again. Beautiful. And push up your shoulders, they wanna be really close to your ears. If you can have straight arms, make it more challenging. And two, one, and rocks now. 10 seconds of rocks. That's it. Good job, Cat. Keep that body nice and tight. And three, two, one, and last hold. You wanna be super long. Stay there, stay there, stay with it. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful, nice work. Okay, next exercise we're going to need to set ourselves up on the floor for our table hold or rear support hold. So choose which variation you would like for this one. You're gonna turn your hands out to the side or fingers behind you. You're going to keep your legs together, create tension through your legs, push your hips up to the ceiling by squeezing your glutes and really squeeze through your shoulder blades here, guys. So you want your, uh, a nice straight line from your shoulders, hips and toes and really squeeze your shoulder blades together. If that's too hard, you can bring your feet in and then push your hips up. So we still want a nice straight line from shoulders, hips and knees there. We're going for a 60 second hold today. And lifting up and holding for 60 seconds here. So make sure you are tucking your tailbone under if you can, squeezing your glutes, legs together, feet together, looking just in a neutral position with your head and we're squeezing nice and strong our shoulder blades together. You shouldn't have any wrist pain here guys or shoulder pain if you do just come into the table position. We are just past halfway. So keep staying strong, focus on your breathing, nice deep breaths in and holding that strong position guys. We are into our last 20 seconds, keep it going. Nice and tight through those legs. I could sit on you Thais, that's how solid you are right now. Last 15 seconds. We got it guys, last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job guys, coming down. 